Hi, I'm Dacre Montgomery, and I'm going undercover on the internet. And this is actually me. Seriously, it's actually me. First up, Twitter. McMary Pants says, how many times a day do you watch Dacre Montgomery's audition for Stranger Things? I, I haven't watched it. I've seen various clips when we've been doing press and stuff, but I haven't really rewatched it. There's a lot of other ones there that are on private <laughs> on my Vimeo account that I wouldn't want to see the light of day. My mother, after seeing Dacre Montgomery's abs in Power Rangers, are those drawn on? No, they're not. I spent a long time training before I came to Canada to shoot the film, but I can tell you that they're only like that during shooting and I smash out about another 20 pounds on as soon as we wrap. I don't chocolate, just smash it. I don't drink, I don't smoke, so it's like, that's my vice, I guess, right? Yeah. I saw Dacre Montgomery's doppelganger working at New York Fries today, or was it actually Dacre and he decided acting wasn't working out? Are you okay, buddy? How's it going? Can I get a veggie works? All the New York fry, Fries references just went over my head. I'm sorry, because I'm not from here. Uh, but I will say that you never know how long you are going to have what you have and I'm prepared to go back uh, to being a barista next year. I'm always prepared. I did it for many years and I'm just lucky to be having an opportunity right now to, uh, to do something I love. Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> ah, yes, the Shrek. Mate, you know how many times a day I get this? <laughs> So Dacre Montgomery as Shrek in a live action, like the human Shrek, yeah. Look, I'm down for it. I just don't know if I would do justice to Shrek. Wait, who's the voice, Mike Myers? Who's yeah. the voice of Shrek? Yeah. I, I bet then as well, I'm like, I can't compete with Mike Myers. It's Mike Myers. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. Dacre Montgomery as Red Hood slash Jason Todd. He would perfectly bring the evil acting of the character as shown in Stranger Things. I don't know. I feel like I'm at a I, I, I'm at an interesting point where I'm enjoying seeing the universes come to an end and other ones begin, but I would really love to play outside of the world that's so prominent, I guess, in cinemas at the moment, which is just origin stories of amazing superheroes that we love. I'd love to dive into a different world that we don't know that we aren't kind of given a lot of, both in television format and cinema. Superheroes growing up, I don't know, I didn't have anything in particular. You know, I remember as a kid, I had all the action figures like He-Man and that blue guy from X-Men, the wolf guy, I forget his name, Beast. Nicholas Holt, yeah, Beast. Um, but I, I didn't really have any specific, I was more kind of interested in like interior design and kidding out my room and all that sort of stuff. I was a strange kid. About two years ago, I went and did an interior design internship in a, a shooting break in LA, which was amazing. And it kind of opened my eyes up to this whole other world of sourcing fabric, figuring things out and figuring out how spaces would work. And I'm really interested in lighting and how that affects our mood. I don't want to get too Kanye on everyone here, but I, I definitely think it has a big impact on us. And uh, yeah. Instagram. How underscore very says, any chance the mind flayer stabbing Billy through the chest four times like didn't kill him, ask for a friend. I keep saying this. It's like obviously the portal, I guess, to the upside down is closing at the same time. So you think, oh, because that's being cut off. That's why the monster's dying. But in our discussions, that was partly it because Billy is the predominant host for that creature in killing him or in stabbing him as how Varys talking about here. Um, it does kill itself, which I'm assuming is that what they mean. And you don't have to ask for a friend. You can just ask me. So Mean Queen Bean says, what is this? Yes, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, so I have a podcast that I'm doing, uh, which comes out in two days, holy shit. Let's just say my advertising campaign to promote it has been a little bit, uh, not off brand, but I think confusing for most people. I started collating my beat poetry about 10 months ago that I've been writing for the last few years. And I built it into six tracks and then I reached out to musicians all around the world to compose scores and I narrate my poetry. So I'm very nervous, it's very personal, it's very close to me. I'm kind of excited for everyone to just hear what this is and hear what it's about. The DKMH podcast comes out July 11th 
on all platforms. Dick Montgomery, how would you feel about a second Power Rangers movie if possible? That's a really good question. My biggest thing is I learned a ton on that movie, so I would be happy to jump back into it. And secondly, that cast is like my family. Um, and we've all gone on to have amazing opportunities, so I'd love to reunite with everyone. But I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm sorry. YouTube. Why is his American accent better than mine and I'm American? That's very flattering, but I spent a lot of time working on my accent. One thing that I did learn going through is that the Americans have, I guess, what's called a rhotic R. So like, as opposed to we wouldn't pronounce the R in most things, like part, part of, and Americans go heavier on the R, like part. I think as any actor or anyone would say, you sort of still hear flaws, subtle flaws. There's one point in season three that I still cringe at when I'm watching. There's a moment in the scene in the sauna when I smash through the window and I'm yelling at my younger sister, Max. And uh, I think it's the one, one of the only times that there's this like a expletive in the show and it was so Australian, so Australian. IMDB. Ah, yes. Very good. Um, <laughs> we'd be doing parkour on my high school roof. We'd get in trouble, but I was never a reckless kid. It's kind of a oxymoron there. Uh, it's because it sounds like I'm reckless, very reckless. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of jumping around the school roofs. With I, the amount of times I should have broken my legs and it never happened. Um, but yeah, no, I was a hugely adventurous kid. And even though school was tough for me, I always found kind of ways to kind of climb around things and do stuff. <laughs> I was that kid that would do enough that I'm not gonna like crush my genitals on a pole <laughs> or like, yeah. So base some of my performances as Billy in Stranger Things on my own experiences being bullied in school. Yes, I certainly did. I was bullied pretty badly in school. I was a, a really big kid. And, um, but I think more so than anything, what I've been talking to is, is finding empathy for the bully. Um, cause we all have insecurities. It wasn't just me. And as I always say, I got to go home to a really good family environment. And I'm sure most of the people that who, who were antagonizing me didn't. So. Yeah. I'm descended from Charles II of England, who was King of England, Scotland and Ireland from 1660 to 1685 and King of Scotland from 1649 to 1651. This descent is through Charles's daughter, Anne Leonard, Countess of Sussex. Actors Kit Harrington and Rose Leslie are also descended from Charles II. Yep, that's all correct. My, my mum's family are the Barrett Leonards. So if you see here, Charles's daughter, Anne Leonard, I'm assuming that's the connection. But I think my name was originally Celtic and then French. And there's sort of different derivatives, I guess, of that. Um, yeah. More Twitter. So much Twitter. A goose named Keith says, how does one pronounce Dacre of Dacre Montgomery? So in Australia, this is getting back to the rhotic R that I was speaking about before. So Dacre. It's just acre, like five acres to the next farm, right? Let's say the unit of measurement, acre. So we say acre. And in America, generally, I'm sure I'm wrong in parts, but people say acre. So dacre would be dacre. So that's just the translation. And then Montgomery is the most standard name you can have. So it's a nice coupling. Iconic Spider-Man says, Dacre Montgomery, my Australian man, can you please drop that skincare routine? Thanks in advance. Look, I don't know. I don't, um, I don't really have a skincare routine. I would just say that my parents always told me don't get too much sun and uh, yoga is good, hot yoga. Just sweat it out and you will be glowing like the in-between of my eyebrows is glowing, like a bowling ball. The fact that the uh, L-O-M-L Dacre Montgomery is from Australia just amazes me. I mean, which part of Australia is he from again? Is there a city of hot men here where Dacre, Brennan Thwaites and the Hemsworth brothers are from? Love it. Well, the, the Hemsworth brothers are from one of the most beautiful places in Australia, which is Byron Bay. It's just south of the Gold Coast and I have friends from there and we go out and hang out there a lot. It's a gorgeous part of the world. But I am from Perth, which is on the west coast. It's one of the most isolated capital cities on the planet and it's absolutely beautiful.
Fudge Cat says, can you think of a name more elegant than Dacre Montgomery? Oh, I'm, I'm sure there are many, many names more elegant than Dacre Montgomery, and I will not claim to have the most elegant one. Fudge Cat's a great name. I'm, I'm down for it. Well, uh, that is it, I guess. So I'm gonna sign off. Thank you.